Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to Hogar Speed Shop. On this episode or this video, we're gonna go ahead and finally install the mini tub, the inner mini, the, the inner tubs and the outer tubs and the trim or the uh, filler piece that goes between the quarter panel and the trunk floor in the back. So that's all gonna be in this video. So stand by and enjoy. All right, so this is where I'm at right now. As far as getting these inner fenders or inner quarter panel or inner wheel wells put up. Got the uh, Detroit Speed Mini Tub one welded in. Got this one just screwed in with machine screws. But that took a lot just to get. A, you can see right there, I pot cut it right there to fit. There's a couple other places down here that need to be pipe cut, which the uh, these are good mark brand. And they weren't they weren't uh, molded with that cut in there, so I had to make the cut after I figured out where it was at from the other side. So it's getting closer to putting this quarter panel back on. And the other one, other thing is this piece right here. It's up into here now. A little better than it did. So I gotta do some massaging with it to make it fit, but as you can see, that goes in now and lines up fairly decent with that. Went off the old scrap pieces that I had. I showed you over there, I can show you over here. To get an idea of how it lined up, because on the other side is a big gap. But on this side, you can see how it, no, that ain't the piece. This is a piece, I think. No, that ain't it either. Maybe this is it. Yeah. yeah, that is it. No, that ain't it. So these are the old pieces out of it. And, oh, there it is. So I wanted to see how it lined up. As far as that went, you can see how the seam is right about a quarter inch in. On the passenger side, it's about a half an inch, or about almost three quarters of an inch. There's a gap between here and here, between these two pieces, and that's about three quarters of an inch. This side's only about a quarter of an inch. So I was trying to line it up to three quarters of an inch, but then I found this, I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's where it's gonna be, so it actually lines up better that way. And it lines up with the quarter panel on there too. I've had the quarter panel hanging up on there. Not fully seated in, I'm trying to figure out what's stopping it from going in on the uh, trunk area right now, but you know, I just uh, just doing one step at a time here, getting things to fit right. And so that's pretty much where I'm at with the quarter panel install and the mini tub install. So I got one, one mini tub in and I actually pie cut this too to bring the gap around a little bit better and welded the whole thing in. But yeah, it's that part's in, so I got this screwed in just to hold it in place and get it to fit right. And that's about the best it's gonna fit. So good thing is you don't really see it. It's gonna be hidden by the quarter panel. Uh, I think the toughest thing is gonna be getting this lip here to line up good with the inside lip of the quarter panel. But like I said, this just could take some massaging and you know some metal work here. And this piece gotta go into, then I gotta create a piece of floor back here for the trunk floor to fill that gap. So I thought maybe that might work, but I don't think it's wide enough. So I'll have to get some new sheet metal. So yeah, that's where it's at right now. I'm gonna start doing some more welding on it, but I wanna, I need to get, pull this back off, get all the screws out, pull it back off, clean up the areas that's gonna be welded. And then uh, it'll be ready to go and I can weld that on. And then after I get this side done, I'll probably leave the quarter panel off until I get this side mini tub done. And then I'll be starting on this side. As you can see, you know, the reason why I'm replacing it is because of all the rust in here and this big dent right here. So might as well do it while I have it. So yeah, it's gonna have two new quarter panels when it's done and a mini tub and then the, the ride tech too, a piece of ride tech frame. But yeah, that's where it's at right now. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the Detroit Speed inner tub 
welded in now. And obviously there's more to go, but it looks like I take a screw out too. But anyways, so I got this uh, welded in permanently now. And I got the other quarter pan or the outer fender, outer wheel well, as you'll see here, I got it set up and ready to go in. Took some modification and some hammering and some cutting, but I got it all ground down, ready to go in and welded. Got all the holes lined up. That took a bit because this thing is not that great. This is from Goodmark, if I remember right. And it just did not fit, especially on this side here. And one of the things I discovered is that it's supposed to have a notch there, it didn't have that. And that allowed me to work the metal a little bit better by putting that in there. And if you look at the actual, well, I got one, I got an original inner fender here. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, this piece here, the little filler piece in the back. It actually has a cutout specifically for that. So when it's on here, it fits into that, that spot where that cutout's at. So it goes in there. So yeah, that's about ready to go in now. And then once I get that in, then the quarter panel, I can start fitting it better, getting it to go on. And then that quarter panel's gonna be done. And I don't have to do it all over again for the other side. But that's where I'm at right now with that. So now it's about time to put that back in and actually load it in permanently. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, outer, outer wheel well put back in. I'm just gonna screw it back in with the, the set screw or the, uh, with the self tappers I've been using. And that way I can get it ready to be loaded in. So I get one in, the rest should be pretty easy. Gonna put some pressure on. That first one in. One thing I hate about rolling chairs and even creepers, try to put any pressure on anything and you roll away. It's also one of my favorite tools. A little screwdriver, or screw, uh, whatever you want to call it. But I'm a fan of Ryobi because they're cheap and I've never had any problems with them. They never let me down. I think it does kind of run out quicker batteries, but if you get this, the new ones, like I got two six amp hour batteries that go that I have. And the new high output ones that I got with my uh, little 90 degree angle with brushless. Drill. That's pretty, those are pretty nice too. Good luck like for everything. That's the back side. We got two to go up through to weld in the list of this here too.
ready to go. I'm just going to go around and water everything. I'll probably show you a little bit of that as we go along. But that's it for the getting it back in there. Yeah, so this is the inside with the inner fenders. Just got them machine screwed in there right now. But yeah, so that's what it looks like without. That piece is not connected to anything. But it's getting closer. Took a lot of trimming and fitting on this piece to even get the line up at all. But that's where we're at right There's now. Another shot of it still screwed out and welded yet, but that's why I just want to get this piece in as well. Get it marked up so I can uh, have holes drilled for spot welding this as well. So you just these aftermarket pieces just do not fit very well. So it's gonna take some hammering and dolly in to get to really smoothing out, but I'm not sure how much I'm gonna do. I mean, it's pretty close, bit of a gap there, but you know, I got the, uh, the seam sealer I'll end up using a lot of to get this on here. So that's where we're at now. This is the future. Now I'll take it off and weld some parts on. All right, it is time to do some welding. I got for my light first. My day light I'm on the back window. All right, so I'm just gonna start around and start doing all the spot welding. Through two layers of steel here, going through the outer well and the frame or the actual body of the car to the mini tub or the inside tub. So that's why somebody's like taking longer than it should, but that's the reason why. Yep, out of gas. Beautiful. All right, well, I guess I'll wait to get gas tomorrow. Well, looks like I'm not out of gas because it definitely gets, gets builds pressure. But maybe my regulator went bad because it's not letting gas out past it. So I have to figure that out and then go from there. But I'm getting plenty of pressure out of the tank. And it's definitely not empty yet. So 
I don't know. I'll let you know. So I got the outer fender welded on around the edge now. And you can see all the spot welds behind in here where they went through. So we're good there. See the stop putting gas so the welds came out kind of crappy, but they are holding and I'll go back through once I get this regulator thing figured out. But so that's gonna do it for that. I wanted to get this welded on too today, but I guess that's gonna be for next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here just because I don't, I don't know what's wrong with that. Maybe I'll throw a video up on figuring that out. All right, so that was a little disappointing with the uh, gas not working now. So I have to get that figured out and I'll go back in and I'll do another start, you know, finish the video. By then I'll be ready to put the quarter panels on too. Um, still need to do the rest of the ride tech the, and the other side of the mini tub. But <clears throat> for now, I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like down there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, yeah, and again, thanks. I appreciate you watching. Till next time.